That Freedom Over Texas celebration been underway for a few hours now. And it's going to go through the evening and will include that very popular fireworks display. Let's go to Brandon Walker live at Eleanor Tinsley Park. And Brandon, this year's event paying tribute to a very important space milestone. <laughs> Indeed, Dominique. Happy Fourth of July, everyone here from Eleanor Tinsley Park as we back out for a second. Photographer Adrian Montez, a closer look at that milestone. 50 years since the big lunar landing, and because of that, NASA's got this big display, which also includes, you know, putting on a costume. So to be part of the experience, I've got Alexia, our intern. She's going to take a picture of me. My All right. NASA. All right, got the picture ready. All right, I'm in. Let me back out right now. Perhaps not, you know, a giant leap for mankind, guys, but it took a lot for me to put on that costume. Look around. We're here. Freedom over Texas this 4th of July. This display, one of many. They've got four stages around, so just about everything for everyone as we get ready for the big fireworks show a few hours from now. Millions marvel still at what was man's first march on the moon. July marks 50 years since the lunar landing, and on the day America celebrates her 243rd trip around the sun, the celebration is on display. I thought I'd show them what, what Houston got to offer. Alfonso Paloma brought his children to this year's Freedom Over Texas, which this year pays homage to the day Space City took the world off its map. There's a spacesuit you can try on. A virtual reality simulator also lets you see how things are doing on the International Space Station. What'd you think about trying on the spacesuit? Awesome. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, Ernesto, it is awesome. And the folks at NASA want you to know there's much more where that came from. And then we also have hands-on experiments that we'll be doing in our STEM area. And the students can learn how to launch rockets and also how to do landing. Yeah, that's what it's all about. It's all about the kids making sure they see this and they think about the future as NASA thinks about its future. This is the Orion capsule, by the way. So there's a lot out here for everyone to see, people of all ages, but especially the kids. NASA hoping as it gets ready to go to the moon yet again and then a little later to Mars, it'll attract children like the ones you saw here trying on the spacesuit. So maybe they'll do the real thing when they grow up, Bill and Dominique. Happy Fourth of July. We'll send things back to y'all in the studio. The fireworks show a bit later. The concerts here, though. Underway. May the fourth be with you, Brandon. Thank you, sir.